everybody and welcome back to a new Vikings Gone Wild episode. Today I'll be showing you my new guild that I've created just for you guys. And yeah. So it's called Jeff the Jeff Clan. Sorry. Yeah, so this creates free for any of you guys to join but yeah it's free when you want to join you don't need any crowns to be able to join zero crowns and um, yeah so it would be really helpful if you guys would join me and help me on this adventure through Vikings Gone Wild. I will be here obviously and I'll be here chatting to you guys in the chat but yeah that's it for the guild at the moment and I'll see you to browse the base. Okay, we're at the base now. As you can see, I've made some heavy upgrades. I'll bring up a picture of my base in the previous video, and I'll compare that to mine quickly. Okay, guys, I'm back. Here is the previous base. As you can see, I had barely anything then compared to what I have now. You can see I basically had no defences, no resource production, no storage for anything. So yeah, very, very simple. Didn't even have my guild castle done. And then I'll quickly go from this and try to show you my new base properly now. I'm back at my base now and as you can see I've heavily heavily changed it see that level 1 chicken tower that I had previously that's now level 4 and I've got another 2 which are both level 2 I've also started production of nectar which if you've played Clash of Clans it's basically the dark elixir of that game. So it's a super special mate material that you get. Here yeah, I've got a level 2 nectar factory, a level 1 nectar container, and then all the stuff that costs nectar that I've got in my base. I've got a level 1 nectar can tavern. A shockwave tower and a hero trap. Also, I have these troops called Drekkies. That basically, what they are is super fast little dragons that lay eggs every like, 10 seconds or so, maybe 15 or 20. I don't really know. But, yeah, they lay eggs, and then after 10 seconds of the eggs being laid, they hatch into another Drekki, and that one can lay eggs as well. And, but the eggs can be destroyed, so I'd keep them behind troops to maximize the chance of survival and reproduction also i've built some boats i believe i only had one then and now i have three two of them are level three and one of them is level two these two right in my base are level threes and 
now my third one is a level two. Then cannons. I have three cannons now. Two of my cannons are level three, which are these smaller ones that I'm highlighting now. And then this bigger cannon here is a level four. Then over here I've got my sheep cannon, which is basically a mortar but fires sheep and deals damage to groups of enemies. This is my level 4 chicken tower, and these two are my level 2 chicken towers. Then here I have my shockwave tower, and you know that's just about it for my defence, apart from my walls and my traps. Then I've also managed to get four up to level 21. And yeah, I've also made a lot of upgrades to my gold factories and my beer factories. All of my gold factories are currently level 7. And two of one of my beer factories is level 7, one of my beer factories is being upgraded to level 7, and two of them are just level 6. Then my storage, both of my beer containers are currently level 8, one of my beer contain, one of my gold containers, sorry, is level 7, and one of them is level 8. Um, that's about it. Oh yeah, and I also upgraded both of my taverns, so I can now recruit bear riders, which, if I have to be honest with you guys, aren't as great as they seem. They're okay, but no means bad at all but I'm just saying that they could be better and yes I know that I can upgrade them in the forge but I'm just saying that I think they should be better but anyway guys enough chit chat and let's hop into some attacks. Okay, coming up to our first opponent's base now. Uf Ulf Dandy one three four. Okay, very weak base. The only defense is. Which is visible, he might have traps, I can't be sure though. Is a level 1 chicken tower and two level 1 cannons. I should be able to just clear this out with just my four. Yeah, this is how I've cleared out a lot of bases at the moment. How I've been clearing out a lot of bases at the moment. And I've just been sending four in to take everything out and also to just farm levels for him. Yeah, there's only one complaint that I'd have about these lower level bases at the moment is the fact that I don't get many resources. And you're probably saying to me, you're probably all shouting at me at your screen that the lower level, that the really low level bases, and of course you're going to be getting barely any resources. I know that. <laughs> so, just clear that up. But yeah. Anyway, let's just clear through this base, and I'll meet you back here when I'm almost done. Okay, I am back. I'm nearly done with this base, but 
four alone isn't going to be able to complete this base, so I'm just going to send in some reinforcements to hopefully finish off this ba guy's base for good. And yes, I did it with three seconds left. That is good, and I just achieved four level twenty-two. And I've just gained something for my guild. I think so. I'll show you that in a moment if I have gained what I think I've gained. So I'll see you back here in a moment. Right, guys, I couldn't find what I was looking for, so I don't think I got it, unfortunately, but I'm very close. Just I'll only need six more stars to do it. But I've also remembered something but I forgot to show you a moment ago. It's the Hall of Ancestors. And you can view your stored artifacts. You can cr craft artifacts for a thousand nectar, which is the basic crafting. And then, I'm not entirely sure what the master crafting costs. But I'll get that knowledge to you as soon as I get it. But, yeah, I think that's going to be all for today, everybody. So, yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed this Vikings Gone Wild episode. And if we can, I'd like to hit four likes on this video, as we managed to hit our like goal last time. So I'm up leveling it again to four. So yep, I hope you've all enjoyed this episode, and I'll meet you next time on Vikings Gone Wild which I believe should be sometime soon and oh, by the way I'm sorry that I didn't get to upload last week that was entirely my fault but yep otherwise I hope you all, all enjoyed and anyway, scratch that previous light goal, I'm going to go for free again. Look. Yeah, anyway, I hope you guys have all enjoyed, and I'll meet you guys in the next video. Actually, hold. Before I see you guys in the next video, I'd just like to say that this is where I've been getting my Drekkies from. The daily bonus. I'm about to get my... 6th, 7th, 9th, no, 7th, 8th, 9th Drekkies. I'm, at the moment I've only got 5 in my boats because I've already used one to test it out. But anyway, I hope you guys have all enjoyed this episode of Vikings Gone World. I'll see you guys in the next video. Jeffrey Cakes, over and out.